Post Katrina, what should have happened was a serious input from people that were not politically connected into how the city, how the, what the city should look like, what the face, what the new face of the city should look like. And uh, as I said before, pre-Katrina, New Orleans was in, was in shambles. It was going through a lot of, uh, of changes. It needed something positive to happen. But the positive uh, that a lot of people were looking for depended on the goodwill of the political structure that was here. And they were not really interested in uh, making New Orleans look like um, a glamorous city with the same type of residents that existed before Katrina. They wanted to make New Orleans into an image that most likely did not include uh, the majority of former residents um, pre-Katrina. And as a result of that, uh, New Orleans is still struggling because we have, we have the people are at odds with what's happening politically, what's happening uh, educationally, what's happening economically. Um, people are still displaced. They haven't really found uh, their, their, their place back here anymore. And um, there are over 100,000 people that, are still, that still haven't returned, and they don't see where the infrastructure has been built up enough for them to return. And, and these include, you know, the, the education, the, the, the crime, the health industry. So why return?